Hello there, you're once more welcome to the Glory Realm Devotion Moment. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Joy is coming your way today. You know, we've been dwelling on the Word of God taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter number one, and it's been amazing. You know, yesterday we were looking at Paul talking to the Ephesians and he made reference to the fact that he has not ceased giving thanks and praying for the Ephesians since he heard of their faith in Christ Jesus. He was giving thanks and praying for them because he wanted them to realize that it is such a wonderful opportunity to have access into the presence of God. And you know, this is just what we really need to understand. There are depths of blessings that you may never get to understand until your eyes are open to see what Paul is talking about in the book of Ephesians. And that is just the next thing he actually got their attention on. And we're looking at Ephesians chapter number one. Now verse number 17, look at what he said. For I always pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he may grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation of insight into mysteries and secrets in the deep and intimate knowledge of him. Now take note of this. Look at what he was praying about. And that is so appropriate to anyone who has had an encounter with the Lord. Now, a lot of people are religious and don't know what is the benefit of being a child of God. They are like someone who has gotten an inheritance but does not know what is the riches of what he has inherited. Now, but when we study the Word of God, the Word of God begin to open our understanding to the riches of the blessings of God that belongs to us. And that's what Paul was talking about. For I always pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory. Now look at that. He said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ is the Father of glory. Our God is the Father of glory. So if he is your God, shame should be far from you. All kinds of despicable things should not get close to you. Our God is the Father of glory. And then he went on to say in the same verse 17 that he may grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation of insight into mysteries and secrets in the deep and intimate knowledge of him. So he said that he may grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation. Is a spirit of wisdom. In other words, it is important for each one of us as Christians to ask for the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Wisdom will give you an edge. Wisdom will shorten your labor or, I mean, you know, transform unnecessary difficulty into a much more result-oriented process that goes I mean, that is far better than unnecessary stress. Now, somebody had said, uh, is one thing to work hard is another thing to work smart. And not smart in the sense of being crooked, but smart in the, in the sense of being able to get that thing done with lesser stress. The spirit of wisdom is that which unlocks abilities and reveals to us better ways of saying things, doing things, or confirming things. The Spirit of the Lord has something unusual that is actually made available for you and I. Now, the Spirit of wisdom and then and revelation. So, revelation is that which uncover. You know, the word revelation means to take away the blind, take away the cover. All right. So, it implies when you have the Spirit that which seems covered that which seems a mystery you have access or ability or the grace to unlock them and people who are able to unlock mysteries are always having the edge over others because they have the advantage of being able to see beyond the ordinary now the spirit of god is the spirit that gives us the privilege and the ability to walk with the spirit of wisdom and revelation and then if you continue on that 
Look at what it says. Say in still in verse number 17. Look at what it says when it's talking about the spirit of wisdom and revelation. It says of insight into mysteries. So it gives you insight into mysteries. A lot of people kind of are confused about certain aspects of the Bible. It's simply because they are not asking the Holy Spirit to help them. They are trying to assess these mysteries by their intellect. And it is not accessible by intellect. It is only revealed. Except it is revealed to you, you are going to struggle to have understanding of what you are reading. But when it's being revealed, suddenly it dawns on you. It's like um, light is released on it. There's some kind of illumination. Now, this is the spirit of re- I mean, wisdom and revelation. And this is what Paul was talking about there. So he grants us insight into, into mysteries and secrets in the deep and intimate knowledge of him. Now, this is where the difference comes in. When you become intimate with him, then he begins to give you knowledge of himself and the mysteries about life and and the wonderful God we serve. Intimacy is the key. If you have only a religious life, you will be struggling. Intimacy, when we talk about intimacy, there's a love relationship. And we're not talking about the human kind of love relationship. But this kind of love that puts you in this place of surrender and total dependence and such 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 longing for the presence of the Lord. People who spend time in the presence of the Lord and actually walk in the things of the Spirit of God. I mean are given access to walk in the things of the Spirit of God. Because in the place of intimacy, secrets are divulged. Alright? In the place of intimacy. Alright? You see, Sam Sim Kulun have said, I mean, to Delilah, the secret of his his strength if there was no intimacy. Now, the only problem with that is that the intimacy was with the enemy. Now, and that's why the enemy caught him up. Okay? But if this intimacy is with God, then the glory of God is going to be seen upon your life. And that's what we mean when we say give your life to Jesus. We are saying get intimate with God. Then he is going to grant you the spirit of wisdom, revelation, granting you access into mysteries and secrets that is going to give you the edge of the earth. And that starts with giving your life to Christ, making the Lord and Savior of your life today. And you will be amazed the glory that will be released. We thank you for being part of this broadcast.